हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर महेश मोहिते पीडियाट्रिशियन एंड पीडियाट्रिक इंटेंसिविस्ट फ्रॉम पनवेल रायगढ़ दिस इज एन इनिशिएटिव बाय डॉक्टर वाई के अम्बेडकर ग्रुप रिगार्डिंग गिविंग सम बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन एंड सब्सिक्वेंटली एडवांसेस इन वेरियस कॉमन मेडिकल इश्यूज सो फ्रेंड्स हियर आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट हाउ नॉट टू मिस अ सीरियसनेस इन अ चाइल्ड इन योर ऑफिस प्रैक्टिस so we see three types of patients grossly in the office practice those who are obviously sick those who are coming just for a routine kind of growth development immunization and a third category is the one which is looking seemingly not so sick but maybe having something sinister on the background we don't want to miss out on this you may have a seemingly normal child but may have a associated anomaly which may be showing some critical sinister problems we don't want to miss out on that as well so how do we ensure that the given child is not going to be getting sick when i thought about it as a final terminal pathway before going into sickness you essentially have features of the neurological system of the cardio circulatory system or respiratory system and there are some subtle markers of those failures which we are going to discuss so if the child is having say hypoxia or circulatory failure you have a brain suffering first and which may manifest in various clinical markers that child may be coming with some altered sensorium drowsiness lethargy which may be missed in this child and if that is missed the next moment or next day the child may be in very bad condition there could be some behavioral alterations so child may have unexplained irritability presenting so some altered behavior and mother is the best person to explain how is the normal behavior and how it is not normal at this point of time so believe in that character that my child is extremely irritable and not behaving normally and you have to really go into details of that there could be frequent falls commonly you get a 4 or 5 year old child mother says he falls off and on don't mistake this for a routine as a playful and go on to details of it there could be decreased or subtle decrease moments of a particular part of the body there could be unusual abnormal moments involuntary moments which she may be describing there could be some new onset or unusual progressive headache in a given child or neck pain or a back pain those kind of a subtle markers need to be taken seriously and we need to be going because that progressive headache could be a sol in the brain it could be a bleed in the brain so they need to be definitely addressed to i said a progressive headache it could be circulatory finding which may be subtly coming as so like i recall a child who was about 10 year old girl who was feeling uneasy she came walking comfortably but when i told to climb on my examination table she started developing a bit of grunt when i examined her pulses it was rate was 120 in a 10 year old child she turned out to be myocarditis don't miss out this subtle exertional dyspnea there could be reluctance to play in a active child otherwise active child there could be sudden fall to unconsciousness while playing running this could be a syncope due to arrhythmias and definitely need to be evaluated it could be palpitation in a bigger child which has to be addressed to he may be the mother may say a infant having cold body cold limbs don't take this as kind of a uh, mild one this could be a sinister shock coming up not to forget always ask in this seemingly normal child how is the pa- child passing urine is he passing every 4 to 6 hourly or he is passing very delayed or he is not passed so child comes with a fever you always ask this when he passed urine is he taking the intake well if he is not passing urine this could be primary renal problem but more often than not this could be early marker of shock which has to be which should not be missed in the opd as far as respiratory it could be prolonged cough going beyond 2 weeks this can be something sinister it could be persistent rapid breathing which could be a silent kind of a tachypnea which could be an acidosis which could be interstitial lung disease or kind of things which should not be missed of course a lethargy or fatigue in a child also can be a manifestation of low grade hypoxia or severe anemia or it could be hypoglycemia so don't miss out on those symptoms which need to be definitely evaluated of course one single symptom doesn't guide you toward that sinister straight way we'll have to take more detail history and the associated symptoms will either rule out a sinister problem or you may be coming to a some conclusion there could be some non specific history like unusual generalized rashes it could be hemorrhagic rashes it could be mucocutaneous progressive rashes it could be acute onset abdominal distension or a bilious vomiting a single bilious vomiting in the pediatric age group has to be taken seriously as a marker of some obstruction either could be a mechanical obstruction or kind of a paralytic rashes need to be evaluated 
priapism in a rural area when you get a child with irritability and priapism this is scorpion sting unless proved otherwise so those kind of a subtle things you need to be asked and should be looked for spontaneous bleeding from any orifices i am sure the commonest bleeding that we get is little seria bleed from the nose apart from that any other bleed need to be taken seriously this is about the history taking what about the examination apart from the obvious clear signs the subtle signs as i already said unexplained irritability if you can't pick up the sign especially a child brought at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 1 o'clock my policy in my hospital to hospitalize this child at least overnight to see whether anything else is developing if you have a unexplained tachycardia in a given child that can be sinister and definitely because body's first compensatory mechanism to any sinister pathology underneath is tachycardia so if you don't have an answer to that definitely this needs evaluation subtle tachypnea so for that you need to be observing this breathing pattern of this child which at times may be having limitation in an irritable child but if the child is quiet definitely this has to be picked up altered sensorium and behavior a critical rashes of bleeding clubbing need to be looked for subtle edema need to be looked for a synoptic tinge most of the clinics are having pulse oximeter so definitely the saturation below 95% to be taken seriously unusual movements and posturing in a child definitely are to be evaluated abdominal distension of a recent onset with or without pain and tenderness definitely has to be addressed too don't forget to measure the blood pressure in every every child above 3 years every yearly that has to be measured because occasionally child this can go absolutely unnoticed and silent unless you pick up a hyper blood pressure and not to forget maintain the growth chart in your opd a subtle signs early signs may be seen on anthropometry what as a practitioner you have to do if the child is sick the first step essentially go through the airway breathing circulation disability cycle and not to forget sugar and temperature you need to support whenever there is hypoxia with airway and breathing assessment so see to that the airway is opened a proper airway is maintained if the breathing is not adequate you may have to give the support you with maybe lma mask or through intubation you have to give oxygen to this patient if the patient is in signs showing some signs of shock then you give a bolus of ns maybe 10 ml per kg maybe 20 ml per kg if required sos inotropes to be started you may be giving cpr drugs like mainly adrenaline which has to be kept ready in your opd if required you may have to give it certain children who are showing hypoglycemia 10% or 25% bolus or 2 ml per kg according to the age group and then if you know if you suspect this is a case of a poisoning most important first aid is to give a specific antidote if it is available so these are essentially first aid that is to be given and then after that you decide whether you can manage this patient in your center if you have a indoor hospital with level 1 level 2 level 3 care you can definitely manage according to the seriousness but if you feel your center is set up don't have the facility to manage this patient you need to transfer this patient but before transferring see to that is optimally stabilized what do i mean by that i'll give an example a snake bite child comes with a early kind of a neuroparalytic things and the referral center is about 2 hours then you intubate this patient give a asv you stabilize so that at least he will reach in a stable state to a referral center where they can manage it further so this mnemonic stable stands for s for sugar t for temperature a for airway b for breathing b for blood pressure l for line and e for equipment so ensure that this all is there and at the end you need to communicate with the referral center before transferring you tell them the status of the child confirm the vacancy of the bed talk to the parent that he need to be transferred and then he should be put into the ambulance and very important the most competent person should accompany this patient to the referral center so that if there is any kind of a catastrophe happens on the way the patient can be resuscitated well and stabilized and then further taken to the referral center this is very important to ensure that this patient is safely transferred to the referral center so that the referral center will give adequate time and kind of a facility or kind of an at least some kind of opportunity to salvage this child so that's how we will be looking so repeating those critical signs unexplained irritability unexplained tachycardia and maybe decrease urine hypoglycemia those are subtle things which need to be picked up a blood pressure which is abnormal need to be picked up a rest all i already mentioned in my video thank you very much we are next talk is going to be our beloved dr y k amdekar sir and he is going to be talking on patient listening is a first step 
ऑफ हिस्ट्री टेकिंग थैंक यू वेरी मच